Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a dance beat in BandLab. Tap on the plus icon at the bottom of the home page, then scroll through the icons and tap on the MIDI instruments icon. Or tap on the plus icon below the bottom track on the track mixer screen, then tap on MIDI instruments. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the drums tab. Then at the top of the screen, tap on the drum pads tab. Tap on the 909 kit to install it. Then tap on the 909 kit again. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the step sequencer icon. First, we will add a kick drum. So tap on the first gray square of the bottom row to add a kick drum note. Then tap on the 9th, 17th and 25th square of the same row. To make the kick drum more interesting, tap on the 16th and 24th square of the same row. Now let's add a snare drum. Tap on the fifth square on the second row from the bottom. Then tap on the 13th, 21st, and 29th square of the same row. Next, let's bring the beat to life by adding the hi-hat sound. So tap on the third square on the third row from the bottom. Then tap on the 7th, 11th, 15th, 19th, 23rd, 27th and 31st square of the same row. Now let's add the hand clap. Tap on the third square on the sixth row from the bottom. Then tap on the 11th, 19th and 27th square of the same row. Finally, let's add the classic roll. Here I will add the roll to the hi-hat row, but this can be added to the snare drum row instead. Tap on any four squares on any unused row. Here I will use a tom row. Now press on the fourth note and tap on the third icon on the pop-up menu which is the velocity icon. At the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the velocity slider to the left a little bit to reduce the velocity. Now press on the third note and tap on the third icon on the pop-up menu. At the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the velocity slider to the left a bit more than you did for the fourth note. Now press on the second note and tap on the third icon on the pop-up menu. At the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the velocity slider to the left a bit more than you did for the third note. Then press on the first note and tap on the third icon on the pop-up menu. And at the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the velocity slider to the left a bit more than you did for the second note. Now press on the first note and drag it to the 29th square on the hi-hat row. Then press on the third note and drag that 
to the 30th square on the hi-hat row. Now, at the top right of the screen, tap on the snap icon that is to the left of the X icon to turn snap off. Press on the second note and drag it to the hi-hat row so it is halfway between the 29th and the 30th square. Then press on the fourth note and drag that to the hi-hat row so it is halfway between the 30th and the 31st square. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers. 